Well, today was the end of an era for Hearts. Last match at Tynecastle in front of the old main stand. After 103 years, it's been replaced by a brand spanking new one for next season. Aberdeen, the visitors, hungry to seal second place. Commentary comes from Paul Mitchell. A fond farewell to an Edinburgh landmark as Hearts make two changes from the side that drew with Parnock Thistle, Liam Smith and Tewley replaced by Alan Hughes and Leonard Sower. Aberdeen make two changes from the loss against St Johnson, Mark Reynolds and Peter Pollitt in for Ryan Christie and Ryan Jack, who's got a suspected hamstring tear and may miss the cup final. Hayes the taker, Considine has worked himself free and could have added to his half-dozen goals this season. Nobody picked up Andrew Considine. And he hits it wide. Novak, it's not going to win friends and influence people. And Aberdeen, through McGinn. Novak in attendance. McGinn driving, and touched away by Jack Hamilton. Not been a good start to the game for Hearts. Logan. A little bit of pushing going on, referee happy, all is well. Comes up to Pollock. Pollock takes the shot, pushed out by Hamilton and Renew will score! Aberdeen ahead at Tyne Castle. And for the third straight season, Adam Rooney hits 20 goals for Aberdeen. Peter Pollock with a shot. You could see the intent from Rooney to follow through. He was well rewarded. And not since Joe Harper as an Aberdeen striker netted 20 goals in three straight seasons. Don Cowie. Cowie sends it in, it's Walker. Well, Aberdeen's top goal scorer has them ahead. Hart's top goal scorer. Time to bring his side level. And Walker off target. Hughes. So what? Uh, so uh, loses out to Hayes. He's coming forward, taken down by the right foot of Jamie Walker. Well, that's not his first challenge. And uh, the yellow card comes for the Hearts captain. Well, the two just tangled. And Walker tried to come across and made the situation worse. Hearts haven't scored against Aberdeen this season. Trailing at home. McLean, delightful, on to McGinn. Hearts are stretched here, beaten away. On to Shinny. Well, again, Aberdeen causing Hearts problems, quickly passing it into wide areas. Beaten away by Hamilton and Shinny off his right foot. Okay, in the corner. And Salves trying to get away from Rooney, it's into Soa, Jim! Almost equaliser. Arnold Jim couldn't put it on target. Scored six times this season, almost seven. Better spell from Hearts. Novak forward, Walker will turn it out wide. On to Liam Smith, tempting ball, Gonzalez! Hearts have been pressing Aberdeen and equaliser comes from Ismael Gonzalez. It's his third goal in four games. Great cross in by Liam Smith, and he bullied the defenders, the heart striker. Logan was there, Taylor was there. Gonzalez wanted it more. Again, Hearts with a chance to get it into the box. Novak up. Check for handball against Considine. Well, his arm was out, but it wasn't deliberate, and that's what referees look for. Certainly struck the armour, Considine. Ian Cathro, delighted his side are level. He's the favourite to take this. Hangs it up, O'Connor with a header, and he's beaten Jack Hamilton! Hearts have been level for barely three minutes. And Anthony O'Connor scores for the fourth time as an Aberdeen player. Rosewell directed the header perfectly, but the footwork of the Hearts goalkeeper was not ideal. Again, again, all sorts of space around Tynecastle for the men in white. Hughes knocked away. Shinny tried to get in there. Rooney, well, as all strikers do, 
tried to get in there first. Shinney had the better chance, but Rooney working back, thought he'd clip that in the corner. Long ball, Lewis will gather, good goalkeeping. Reynolds and Smith come together. Well, the yellow card comes out. Marks wanted more, Aberdeen wanted less. That was full-blooded. Time playing out at Tynecastle. Walker has to be careful. He's taken Shinny down. And the Hearts captain is off for the third time in his Hearts career. It's going to be Aberdeen's afternoon at Tynecastle. Walker misjudged and he's gone. Disappointed you know get the clean sheet. Disappointed you know to score more. And I've said to the players that, you know, with the, with the cup final in mind, we'll, we've got to try and search for that, those perfect performances. But what we, what we don't need to search too far for is what they actually give me and the club every every other day and every game we play. There's total commitment. Um, there's a real honesty about them. It's it's ripping out them and what they give to the club. We are punching totally above our weight to finish on 70 points again at the minute with three games to go. When we get back to 1-1, it's a moment where we're close to getting control of the game. We were getting into the spaces that we wanted to be in, and there were um, there were some chances coming. Um, we make we make a mistake that, that we can't make. Um, we concede the goal, and then and then things became a lot more difficult. And there we go. Last look at that iconic stand that's graced many a sports scene over the years. The last time we'll see it, a new one for next season. It's not the way Hearts would have liked to have signed off their last home match, Pat. And Jack Hamilton won't want to see this again, the first Aberdeen goal. No, I feel sorry for him because he's a young goalkeeper uh, and he's, he's done well. You know, he's got into that team and he's done OK. But this is from about 30 yards out. Uh, and look at the reaction of Rooney, though. Look at the reaction yeah. of Rooney right away. And the ball just, just it, Hamilton, bounces him. him. And, and I think if you're not going to hold it, you've got to knock it away. It's a to really difficult ball. Way to the yeah. side, way to safety. But look at the reaction. And then he's expecting also his defenders, by the way, to react sure. as quick as Rooney reacts. And yeah, that's Rooney. the difference. 20 goals again for Rooney. Phenomenal. Fantastic, yeah. absolutely. Your old pal is McGinn Salves, former St Mirren player. Sure. Stephen got Hearts back into this with a, a header. He's not always known for his header. No, he isn't. Three goals in four games is a decent return. Um, but it's all about the cross for me here. Uh, from Liam Smith, who come on as a substitute in the game. When he gets this ball, he's one thing in his mind, touch and can I deliver, and what a delivery it is. Uh, Isma does well, it's brave to get above Logan. Uh, I think he actually maybe gets a nick in the way and past the keeper. I think a little nick here and it just wrong fits but the goalkeeper. But it's brave and it's a yeah. good... Uh, yeah, he you know, deserves it because of the way that he's gone in and attacked the ball. Yeah, and it's a decent goal uh, to get Hearts back into the match. Plenty of talented Irish players at Aberdeen, Paris. Absolutely. You keep on reminding us. Anthony O'Connor doesn't always spring to mind, but the match winner. No, the match winner today, I know he's made a couple of mistakes, he's in and out of the team, but this is a really good header, by the way, back across yes. the goalkeeper, uh, and I don't think Jack Haven had a chance there. And who knows, maybe that, if he keeps performing and coming up with those big goals, he might just play his way into a cup final. And they've sealed second place, let's be honest. Yeah, Nine yeah. points cleared, goal difference far superior to Rangers, yeah. and that's a huge achievement for Brilliant, Aberdeen. absolutely brilliant, and Derek touched on it there, you know, to get to two cup finals, to yeah. finish second with Rangers in the league and I a strong I disagree, though, I disagree that they're punching above their weight. I would expect Aberdeen to be up there well, in I think that there is a level position. of expectancy yeah. now amongst the supporters. Absolutely. A rebuilding job for, for Hearts in terms of the, the main stand, you'd have to say probably for the team over the summer as absolutely. well. It ended poorly today with Jamie Walker sending off. Yeah, I think so. their season for me is just petering out. I mean, yeah. Jimmy Walker is two definite yellow cards, uh, in my opinion. This first one here, um, he's not a dirty player, Jimmy Walker. Um, but then he had another couple of niggles, should we say, after, after he got booked. Uh, silly challenges he didn't need to get involved in. And it looked as though he was walking a fine line. I feel sorry for him in the second one. Well, you know, yeah. I, Why I you feel sorry, sorry for him it's because he's desperate. He, they're, they're obviously getting beat. I see, is you're on a yellow card, card. slides and it's just a you're timing on a yellow of card, it. You can't dive in, Pat. But I know it's a bit of time because, but but I, I, he's a winger. <laughs> he's a winger. <laughs> he's not a defender. No he will dive in. He's honest. Two, and that's two yellows. And he's I feel a little bit sorry for him. I'm sorry. Stephen says it's petering out. How disappointed uh, should Hearts fans be with the way the season's going? Well, I, I think this next summer is going to be critical. I, I don't think they're going to get into Europe now for you know no, their, yeah. their six points. So the pre-season is going to be critical to buy players Treatment. to work with the team and then get themselves ready. They're going to be away from home for a number of games because of the stadium. The stadium and the start of the season is absolutely critical and then let's see what what uh, Catro can do Ian Catro okay plenty more to come on sports